Hi Sagittarius, welcome to my channel Sagittarius. I hope you are doing well Sagittarius. I hope you are finding safe and doing good. This reading for today, it is a collective tarot reading session for the Sagittarius sign. I hope you are doing well Sagittarius. I hope you are finding safe and doing good. Let's see what is your guided message Sagittarius, okay? You know what? Um, I want to use this. Yes, this is a cute card. Okay. I want to use this because it's very healing. Okay. I know. I covered my tarot cards, Sagittarius, when I don't use it. Actively use it. You have to know your reader. Okay. Some people can... Anybody, anybody could just put the camera and read. You have to know your reader. Okay. What can I get for the Sagittarius sign? What is the message that is meant for you to know and ready for you to know, Sagittarius? What's the guided message for the Sagittarius sign? I hope you're doing well, Sagittarius. I feel like the last video that went live, I did it last night, okay? However, I only made it public six, five hours ago. Um, I don't know what happened, guys, but it was supposed to be last night. Let's see what's coming towards you, okay? Let's start with your energy checked in, okay? Let's do some energy checked in and then... So I'm looking into um, November, December. And then what's coming towards you, Sagittarius? Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look at this person. Mm, strength card. Oh, they're defeated. The Ten of Cups, the King of Swords, then the King of Wands. Very nice, okay? And then the Page of Wands, the message, okay? All right, okay, Sagittarius, let's start your reading. Well, first of all, you're starting the reading with the Eight of Pentacles in here. I feel like the Eight of Pentacles in here, Sagittarius, you're starting to clear the backlog, Okay. Whether it's a house chores, whether it's a workload, it's a business, where it could also be, um, it could also be you have a lot of, you're processing a lot of thoughts, you're calculating, you're analyzing. There's something cerebral about, you know, it's a feeling of um, inside your head. You want to do this, uh, you want to calculate this, you have to travel you have to write you know you have lots of thoughts in your head you probably manage to whenever i'm confused or if someone is confused and feel like drowning or overwhelmed i always say write it down write it down write the list that you need to do write it down and visually tick once you've completed it because to be honest with you it's easier than what's in what's inside your head okay so i feel like you it feels like there's an overwhelming fact of recently or maybe right now. You feel like there's so many thoughts, like there's so many tasks to do. You know, write it down, go towards that list because the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Wands, you will be very, very surprised that the very thing like, oh, it's difficult in your head, it's difficult. But if you change your mindset, it's actually so easy, Sagittarius, okay? You're very good at that. You're very good at that, Sagittarius. You're very good at updating your mindset. When you think it's difficult, it's really difficult. But when you think it's easy, and then I'm going to enjoy it. It's going to be easy and you're going to have some fun. So I believe you have already... I you've wor you I could feel right now, Sagittarius, that you have already worked on your mindset. Okay? With a... I mean, right now, you're, you're getting the work done. So you are able to update your mindset. What you think it's difficult. Change your mindset think of it easy write it down you will be able to complete a lot of workload task you will be able to manifest a lot of things you like you know, on a daily basis you know like things that pile up you'll feel like i'm so updated and you're so happy with the eight of pentacles and the two of wands in here so very nice very productive like a change of mindset and a change of mindset will directly impact your productivity. And because of that, you're feeling great. You're feeling happy because the rest of your day, you can allocate it to entertainment. Okay? So very nice. Yes. Eight of Pentacles. 
So you're going to allocate your time to entertainment for fun because you completed the house chores, you know, you've updated everything about work. Things are updated, I would say, in a collective reading. So you have a golden, like the you are the man of the hour, the woman of the hour, or you are in your own bubble. Like I've got this big pentacles in here. I've got my, you know, my, I have extra time. What will I do to this precious time? So you will enjoy this i don't know you get to you get to do, to do something because you're no longer busy isn't it that great you know so that's that now you have the star card sitting in your higher self in here i feel like the star card in here if you look at the star card look at that the star card it's so beautiful look at that i feel like for some of you guys um I feel like it's very wellness, physical, and I'm seeing the beautiful hair of this person. Um, okay, Nine of Wands. I feel like the star card in here, Sagittarius, it looks like your higher self is advising you to loosen up. Like if you want to start healing, if you want to start, like if you want to start healing, if you want to start wellness, if you want to start something healing and wellness and really getting better, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, like loosen up, like don't be, don't be too rigid, you know, like don't be, although some people like, you know what, I'm not going to go out, like I'm, I'm going to be unavailable for one month or two months so that I can get results for you, like somehow you know, enjoy whatever it is that you're going to do in terms of your wellness journey. Okay. Like, like, cause the Sagittarius sign, if you, if you, the more you enjoy what you do, the more result. So the star card in here speaks to me that don't be too rigid or like, um, try not to be less intense when it comes to your wellness, your physical, emotional, mental, whatever it is that you're trying to heal improve um just take it easy and most of all have fun okay with the star card in here like don't don't be too hard on yourself okay all right okay now the second part of the reading let us see what is coming towards you Sagittarius you've got the strength card in here well you could be dealing with a Leo but this is what's coming towards you if you look at this person you know this person is waiting for you feels like you're mirroring each other but this person if you look at this wall it's already break it's like breaking down um because they've been waiting for you to a point where it hurts them like it's um it's it hurts them to wait it it hurt like um this is coming from a king of swords and if you look at the king of swords they're ready but they're not taking a taking an action like the king of swords i'm ready and if you look at the the king of swords it's yellow and green so this person when they think of you they feel happy they feel they feel like sunshine you know like uh, when they think of the when they think of you sagittarius they feel good uh they smile uh when they think of you and reminisce about you and them it makes them feel good it feels like a sweetheart energy it feels like miss like lots of fun fun energy light-hearted like it's intensely like it's a all they can think it's like sunshine and butterflies so whoever this person is they're tired of waiting i get the feeling that i i don't know but this person is tired sitting around and just imagining you like somehow like it hurts them like it, it hurts to be just thinking of you with the king of swords in here Oh, if you look at this person, okay, will I call you? Will I text you? How do I approach you? So um, they're quite confused on how to materialize what they feel. But it's whoever this person is um, with the King of Swords, they're waiting for you. All I can pick up is this person is waiting for you. I think the ball is in your court and somehow this person somehow I could feel that they're kind of mad or upset or maybe disappointed but they don't want to be upset it's like okay Sagittarius I'm getting annoyed now you're not responding you're not replying but I don't want to be annoyed because I really like you so 
Seven of Cups, like, okay, I, I, I want to stay away from being annoyed, being pissy with you, Sagittarius, because I really like you. So they don't want to entertain too much of, you're not replying to me. So it could be a lover. It could be a sweetheart. It could be a friend. Yeah, look at that, Ten of Cups. Like this person is looking forward to talk to you, to giggle, to, you know, kiss and make up and hold hands. Could be a friend, could be a lover. But um, I don't know, this person, like, they would rather, it makes them sad. Like, I don't want to be mad. I don't want to be angry. I don't want to be pissy. I don't want to be disappointed because if I entertain, I don't want to be egoistic as well, whoever this person is. Um I don't want to play Cupid. I don't want to be ego. Like, I don't want to play ego. Okay? Because if I do that, I will be sad. I just want you to respond, Sagittarius. Like, you know, it feels like, come on, Sagittarius, just one message. Just one message. Just one reply. So, it's kind of like energetically they want to get your attention. And it hurts them because you're not getting, they're not getting your attention. It's possible, Sagittarius, that you are waiting for each other. You could be mirroring each other, but it's even possible so i'm doing this today it's october 29 already so it could be during the weekend which is um um in the last 24 hours this person it, they could be drinking but um i feel so romantic about this person now looking into the five of cups like i missed the opportunity no no so let them be I get the feeling of let this person drown into missing you. Let this person drown with the emotions that they have for you, Sagittarius. Because look at that. I'm waiting. I don't want to insist. I don't want to follow up. I will be waiting. I will be daydreaming of you. And while I daydream, I will be planning on what I will say if we talk again. If we go for a date, I will. Ten of Cups. I will... I will plan so even though you guys are not talking this person is in advance planning what do we do next so they're kind of manifesting you with the five of cups from now up until the next 24 hours three seven ten days from now this person is going to be sad because I don't know maybe you're not responding really but eventually they want to claim the ten of cups whoever this person is from five to ten one of their one of their friend or relative will tell them well the ball is in your court why did, why don't you just call sagittarius or text sagittarius something's gonna jump start then but i feel like within the next 24 hours especially if you're talking to this person right now i feel like in the in the last 24 hours um i feel like this person is to, into their feelings into their feelings into their feelings into their feelings and then probably they couldn't help it with the Ten of Cups, the King of Wands. Okay, the King of Wands is looking at the King of Swords. It's like, I don't want to feel this way. I am a King of Wands and I know Sagittarius, you like me. So this person will remember, I know you like me. Okay, let me pick up the phone. And there you go, the Page of Wands. If you look at the Page of Wands, there's weeds in here. Weed it out. So this person, they will, there's like, there's, I don't know, but there is a... Like this person is turning their back to to being stuck. Like I get the feeling of inertia. So this person, King of Wands or King of the King. Look, I don't like the King of Swords. I don't want to wait. I don't want to be sad. I want a Ten of Cups. So let me be a King of Wands and send a message. Okay, so expect this person probably. I feel like it's very direct, Sagittarius. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Ooh, this person is very spicy. Sagittarius, this person could be, hey, Sagittarius, are you still alive? <laughs> um, There is some stinger with this person, okay? There could be sarcastic, but they just miss you. Yeah, hangman. Look, someone miss you, but the way they will text you or message you, it feels like, hey, Sagittarius, how are you? I'm still alive, you know. I do miss you. Do you want to hang out? Do you want to go for dinner? Do you want to catch up? So there is a pinch of, there's a pinch in their heart, Sagittarius, okay? Yeah, but they're going to take a risk. Whoever this person is, I don't want to get angry. I don't want to get mad. I'm choosing Ten of Cups. I'm choosing you over my ego, over playing hard to get, over over anything that, um, they're choosing you. They're choosing to keep you, whoever this person is. Um, They have an M. 
they have a letter M, a letter L, a Y, and an E. Um, let me, I'm, I'm still downloading a lot of message. Temperance card, to be honest with you, this person could be, you might find this person very outspoken. You know, I get the feeling that this person, they're very outspoken. They're very lively, outspoken, spontaneous. They might survive in terms of humor, but this person is actually, there is some introvertness in them that you will be surprised on how they will reveal, like the soft side of them. Yeah, Six of Cups. Ooh, to be honest with you, there's something very, very, like you vibe, like when you think of this person, energetic, um, charismatic, but they have some vulnerability that they will only show it to you, Sagittarius, with a temperance card and the six of cups in here. You'll be you will be surprised how open they are. Like they're gonna open up maybe their feelings. Maybe they're gonna open up with their feelings towards you. Oh yes. Tower card, Sagittarius. So it could be it could be like finalizing a conversation or finalizing a plan. Get ready, Sagittarius. This is what I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much, Sagittarius, for supporting the channel. Thank you so much, guys, for being here. If you would like to further connect with me, if you're vibing, please do click the bell. Um, click subscribe. Thank you for writing me love notes and for the coffee online. I'll see you soon. You have a great day.